So, working oscilloscope. The first thing I want you to know about this oscilloscope is that this is the time knob. It controls the rate at which the oscillator in the back is sweeping from left to right. And you notice that I can make this, if I turn this time knob to the left, it sweeps slower and slower. So fast that you could actually, if you were fast, you could, you could catch it. But it's light. It's yeah. electrons that are hitting Can't the light. That. Yeah, no, good luck with that. You can make it even slower, right? So you can study uh, signals that are changing really slowly. Like, for instance, if you were measuring somebody's heartbeat, you might have it go this fast, and you see bum bump, bum bump, right? Mm -hmm. And you may have even seen this. Oscilloscopes are huge in all of the sciences, not just, <clears throat> I mean, Sure, biologists have their scopes and yeah. chemists have their scopes, but everybody uses oscilloscopes. So you've got really, really slow also, and really, really, really slow, and there's even, ooh, a new setting that we'll talk about later. But I'm gonna set it back to here, because usually when you walk up to an oscilloscope, you're gonna see a line, because they're primarily used to study things that are changing quickly. Yes. Now what we need to know is that this is a probe for the oscilloscope, and it's got two components. It's got the ground. This needs to be connected to ground in order for it to work. And this is a meat hook. That sucker right there is a, um, well, it looks like uh, something you'd use to hook up meat in a butcher shop, and that's why they call it that. But the cool thing about this is I could take a small wire and I could hook it right onto that meat hook. Can you see that meat hook okay? Mm. Yeah, okay. So <clears throat> I'm gonna hook up this probe, and my first item of interest is actually looking into an electrical outlet. This is rather dangerous, not the sort of thing that you would want to do uh, if I weren't here, for instance, or if you were working on a large Tesla coil, you would okay. want to be a little bit more careful. So I'm gonna go into here and see if we can find, what the heck? Now it's time for me to talk to you about the other knob. This knob right here controls the vertical scale. Would you agree that the time knob controls the horizontal scale? I would agree. Like how much time is in each one of these divisions? It actually says time per division, and you can read it off right there. What does it say time per division right now? Right now is 0.1. It's 0.1, and the units can be seen right there. Meters per second squared. Oh no, it's actually milliseconds. Milliseconds. I don't know why the S is bigger. Squared. I usually use a tectronic scope, but this one is working really well today, That's so we're gonna use this one. Okay. So it's in milliseconds, so it's okay. 0.1 milliseconds, less than a millisecond. That's 100 microseconds. It's one ten thousandth of a second. In every one of these blocks, one ten thousandth of a second has happened. So it's able to show us the signal over and over and over again, which is why we've got such a beautiful repetitive signal. Now, I'm noticing that the signal's going off scale vertically, so I'm gonna turn this one so that there are more volts per division. Okay. So it's making our vertical scale bigger and therefore our signal smaller. Does that okay. make sense? All right, turn this guy counterclockwise for me. There he is making the signal smaller because the vertical scale is getting bigger. Keep going, keep going, live it up. All right, good. I think that might be an appropriate place to be. Now, I see that stuff's happening off screen. Mm -hmm. I don't see repetition yet. Can you take that time axis and make, what do I, what do I want here? Do I want the time axis to be... Uh, uh, more time per division or less time per division? More time. More time per division. Mm -hmm. All right, let's try that. How do you get more time per division? Is that clockwise or counterclockwise? Clockwise. Try it. The other way. The other way. Keep going, keep going. Oh boy. Oh boy. There you go, there you go. Now, I find that to be a beautiful thing, don't you? I do. Looks like an oscillation to me. Looks like something shaking back and forth. That's what's happening electrically inside the wall. As I make contact right there, it's happening. And so we can study the wall's action right there. Now, we have this, so volts per division is five. Check that out right there. Okay. Isn't that five? Mm -hmm. So that means every one of these large boxes is five volts. So from zero, it goes to five, 10, 15, Whoa, it's like 17 volts up and 17 volts down. But I thought, like, my dad told me this was 120 volts. What yeah. the heck? Oh. Uh -huh. All right, I'll tell you. You twisted my arm. The, uh, the truth of the matter is I have a 10 times probe on here, which okay. means that anything I read should actually be multiplied by 10 before I use it. So it's okay. actually 170 volts up and 170 volts down. And the reason we get 120 is from a calculation called RMS. I have that in another video. You can look that up if you want. All right. On the internet. The internet. Yeah. Not Try. the oscilloscope. <laughs> Good call. All right. So I want to measure something else. I think it would be fun to measure something else. Like, um, what do you want to do? You want to sing into it? Sure. All right. 
The way we'll sing into it is I'm going to connect the ground to one of the pins on this microphone right here. This is from some video game, but it's awesome. Okay. And then I want you to sing into the microphone, and I'd like to put the connection right there. And whenever you like, you could go ahead and sing. But it has to be really loud and really hopefully loud. obnoxious. Go. All right. That is both loud and obnoxious. Why did nothing show up? I don't know. Mm, maybe there's something wrong with our scale. Okay. I'm thinking that perhaps, since we have to get up to five volts per division, you weren't able to see anything. So what we're seeing is something much smaller. So I'm going to turn this up. Turned up is what we call it. Turn I'm up. turning this sucker way up. Now it is way turned up. And check it. Give me a little singing right now. Uh, That's obnoxious. Right. Did you see that? Yeah. Holy cow. All right, now a different note. Uh, it's beautiful, no? Yeah. It's beautiful. I wonder if I can turn it up anymore. No, I can't turn it up anymore. Somebody say to me like, Doc, what's all that mess that you see sometimes? You interested? I'm pretty interested. And uh, I don't know, it's just some kind of mess because, well, there are natural weird circuits that can happen, eddy currents and all kinds of stuff like that. Yeah. I noticed that your cufflinks are especially nice today. Oh, thank you. Cufflinks! All right, so if we check this sucker out, you see that sucker? Mm -hmm. And you could sing into that. Let me uh, put the mic up to me. Let me give you a little note here. That's what I'm talking about. Turn that voltage down a notch, because it can't handle Doc Schuster. Right Not that one. <gasps> Cody, yes. you've just discovered the second channel. Okay. Channel one, channel two. This oscilloscope has the power to graph two voltages as a function of time at the same time. Mm -hmm. These buttons right here control that. This one says, show channel one. I can turn off channel one. It's like, uh, you sure you want to see nothing? It disagrees with me. And then I can show channel two. There's channel two. Mm -hmm. And then I can turn off channel two and turn on channel one. Now I can show both of them. Or, check that out, I can show the mathematical sum of channel one plus channel two. Okay. There are a lot of cool things that we can do, but I don't want to show any of that. I just want to go back to channel one. Okay. Now, you guessed that you should turn this knob because it says volts per division. Mm -hmm. And it's the wrong one. Turn the other one. Okay. Down? Down or up. Bring the mic over here. You play with it while I'm making the awesome, hideous sound. Right. Ooh. Ooh, I thought that was a good, good place to have it. What? No, go back. Ooh, like that, right? Because mm -hmm. it's maximized, but it's not clipping. It's not off screen. Yeah. Now I want you to play with the time division and see what that looks like. Okay. Tell the good people whether you're turning clockwise or counterclockwise counterclockwise and okay. what you're thinking during that time. I feel right. like I'm being interviewed on television. Ooh! I'm turning it clockwise. What? I can't hear you. Ooh! I'm turning it clockwise. What's happening? Um, it seems to be a lower frequency. And oh, that's an excellent point. Was I changing the frequency? No. But it seemed to be a lower frequency. You mean fewer of the oscillations were appearing on the screen. Mm -hmm. I see, I see. Well, that's all the time we have today, folks. Thanks for coming.